The first time I ever heard Fuller actually lecture was at Royce Hall Auditorium, UCLA, in the fall of 1958. Uh, I had been aware of Fuller's existence from reading about his work in architectural magazines and so on, but I had never met the man. And so I invited my wife, let's, let's go hear him. And there was about a thousand people in the uh, hall when he started it, scheduled from eight to 10. He was alone on stage and he started off uh, in this position like a Hindu um, greeting and uh, then told the audience he was going to think out loud with them. And he, he just started talking and talking and talking, and then pretty soon he was getting you know really that, 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 that I don't prepare any talk, so I just stand, I just stand up and, 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 and start thinking out loud as, as you and I would if we meet. Uh, I, I'm, I'm convinced that uh, communication is extraordinarily important, uh, personal. And that you can't, you, you can't know what the people are going to feel like and want to talk about until okay. you get there. Okay, so somewhere around 10.30, he was going strong. Some guy walks onto the stage from the wings and uh, comes up to Bucky, who stopped to see what's happening, and tried to whisper, Mr. Fuller, when are you going to finish? The custodians have to clean the facility. Oh, oh, uh, not, not much more, okay. And waved the guy off the stage and picked right up and you kept on going. Sonny Apple and I have talked about a great deal. Relates to the, I, I mentioned to you if you had a triangle, light can bounce around in the triangle or it can go, go out through the edge of the triangle. But when, when there's an impingement on, on the edge of the triangle, the line goes through and... and, and okay, it, and now uh, the audience yeah, had slowly angle. been dwindling and by 11.20 they were down to maybe a dedicated hundred sitting up close. Finally, I got up about a quarter to midnight. Bucky was still talking. But the gray circle then came together again and reestablished the gray circle went on where, where it could be, uh, the folding was simply the way the energies of the sound. Be. And closed down at 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> this was off the scale. And of course, what he was saying was absolutely fascinating. Bucky says it's all of us or none of us. It's utopia or oblivion. Uh, Got to make the world work for everybody or it ain't going to work for anybody. And I decided I was going to get better acquainted with the gentleman.